Had I not battled against Carbuff for 119 games, I would have been incapable of surviving the all-important 120s. The loss of game 23 itself had the potential to be crashing, and I had less than 24 hours to prepare what could be my last game as world chess champion. Kasparov recollected. This was the fourth time Kasparov encountered his old opponent, Karbov. He had defeated Karbov twice in 1985 and 1986. He thought, well, finally I can dominate this world for two to three years. But in 1987, Karbov was still the challenger. It seems that Karbov was granted privilege to challenge Kasparov again. Kasparov had already been sick of playing against this stubborn opponent, and he even openly showed his anger against Karbov. For the match, Kasparov went for solid but he lost an important game, and he had to win the last game in order to retain his world champion title. As white, he prepared well and achieved great advantage. In this position, however, Kasparov should have played queen b5 so that he could directly win a piece, but he played queen d1. My move gave Karbov a clever defense, and uh, suddenly he was one move from reclaiming the title. But his hurried response also proved second best. Although our mutual exchange of errors would not be discovered until well after the game, that's part of So Karbov did not find the best defense knight c5, but instead played knight e7, giving Kasparov the chance to regain his advantage. Kasparov seized the chance and finally won this game, leading him to his dominance of the world champion and his legend in the chess world.